What on earth are they setting up on Erasmus lawn today? They've got like a bouncy castle and snakes and ladders. I assume this is for kids actually. Anyway, it's Sunday. About to go to the buttery for brunch. Last time I'll ever have brunch in the buttery in Queens. Turns out this is some sort of family day. I'm not sure who it's for, but obviously nothing to do with me. Oh, the president is down there. I now see the president all over the place now that I know what he looks like. And I wonder how many times I've just walked past him and ignored him in the last three years. Because we never met him until just a couple of months ago. So I've probably been ignoring the president of college. When I say the president, I mean the Queen's president. A lot of colleges call the president the master. I don't know why we're different. I'm not sure what he does either. I'm actually so tired today. I feel like I've slept loads recently, um, but just this crazy sleeping pattern and my balls keeping me up until 6am is killing me. But tonight is the last ever life, as in the club. It's actually called Cuda. I was talking to somebody the other day who lives in Cambridge, and it's only Cambridge students who call the club's life and Cindy's instead of Cuda and Ballet, which are their real names. But tonight is the last time I'll ever go, which is, it's really sad actually. Um, I'm really tired. But I'm gonna drag myself there, just because I think I'd regret not going. And that is the last time I will be in life. Chips, please. I have a cheesy chip. Thank you. It feels really strange knowing that I will never go to life again. That's possibly my last night out in Cambridge as well, but hopefully not. Hopefully I can go to Cindy's one last time, but we'll see about that on Tuesday. Now I'm going to go to bed. I cannot wait to get into bed, so good night. Time for another fancy meal tonight. This one is free. This one is called a Tripos Dinner, and it is a dinner in Old Hall, black tie, in our gowns. Never worn that combination before for everybody who is graduating this week. Hopefully the food's nice, otherwise I think it'll be a little bit boring because it's not the kind of formal where we can take a bottle of wine. I also drank loads yesterday, so I don't really want to drink at all today. I'll get ready into my fake black tie as usual. Again, for anyone who's confused by this, black tie is a dress code. It means like a dinner jacket and a bow tie. But I don't have the dinner jacket, I don't have the right shirt, I don't have the right trousers. <laughs> I just put a bow tie on. No more formal dinners at Cambridge until I get invited back for something next year. No more as an undergrad. Since my time in Cambridge is essentially over, I don't need my bike anymore. It is very useful to have a bike in Cambridge. Pretty much everyone has one and cycles around. Like the computer lab, it's convenient to cycle there because it's like a half an hour walk. But I don't want to have to take it home and then figure out what to do with it there, so I want to get rid of it before I leave. Now, if I was around in October, it would be very easy to sell or give away a bike because all the new students come and they're in very high demand. But in June, everybody's getting rid of the bikes and nobody wants one. The bike shops usually win here. People are forced to sell them to the bike shops who give people next to nothing for their second-hand bikes and they sell them to new freshers for £150 when they come back. But my bike isn't worth much in the first place. I did the sensible thing of buying a bike at home and bringing it here, because if you want to buy one here, you'll pay a lot. If you if you try to get one when you start. If you want a new one, you're going to be paying over £200. If you want a second-hand one, they just sell out instantly because everybody wants one. But I reckon you'd still be paying like £80-plus pounds for a second-hand bike. I paid 20 for mine at home and then I brought it here. And it's been fine, apart from that issue where the handlebars fell off. But anyway, I want to get rid of it. And I found this charity bike drop event on Facebook. They are taking secondhand bikes today between now and 4pm. And apparently they get fixed up and given to refugees in London. Sounds like the perfect way to to recycle my bike. I'd rather a refugee got it than a bike shop in Cambridge which is gonna rip off a fresher in October. But if you do start and you want a bike, um, try to get one as soon as possible. If you want a second hand one. I remember when I started, I left at like 
five days or something before I started looking and all the second hand ones were just gone and there were only new ones left and they were really expensive. So I went first term uh, without a bike and then I went home at Christmas, bought one there, second hand, £20, brought it back, it was great. Then it was the beginning of second year, it must be like vlog one or two, where I was riding along and the handlebars came loose and came out and I fell off. Um, so I actually took it back home again got another £20 bike and merged the two together to make a new one that worked properly. So that's what I've ended up with now. That's what I'm going to give away to this charity thing today. I'm sad that this is the last time I'll ever see and ride my bike. Come on then, let's go for our last ride together. And there goes my bike. <laughs> no idea where it'll end up. Hopefully it goes to a good cause. Now I have to walk back to Queens because I don't have a bike anymore. I'm going to Nando's for dinner today. I haven't been to Nando's for like a year. So this should be nice. I've decided to go to Cindy's tonight because it's the last ever time that I can go. We're going to pre-drink in style with champagne. I do need to be up at 5.45 tomorrow though to catch a train to London to look at more apartments. Uh, so that's going to be horrendous when I wake up, but I can't miss last Cindy's ever. We haven't finished our drink, so we're taking our champagne glasses to the club. Poshest night out we've ever had. We've come really early since we have to be up really early tomorrow. And the queue is just huge. Look at all these people. You can barely get to the front. It opens in like two minutes as well. We are literally the first two people here. This is what an empty club looks like.
Leaving Cindy's for the last time ever because we have a really early train. I'm so sad. We'll never come here again. I've got a burger. There's no reason why. Now I'm gonna go home. I'm back. Last night in Cindy's was so much fun. Quarter to six, I need to be awake, and it is quarter to two now. Because I have to be in a taxi at quarter past six to catch a train at quarter to seven. Oh my god. And it's not like I'm just tired now. I'm still really drunk. And I feel like in four hours time, I'm still going to be drunk. I'm going to be drunk when I wake up. Brilliant. Enjoy next week's vlog. I'm going to get as much sleep as I can. Hopefully, I'll be okay tomorrow. When I say tomorrow, I mean in four hours' time. Good night. Thanks for watching.